the video will be easier. So I'm in the Fortnite folder. Uh, Fortnite game binaries Windows 64. And here it's located. There's already an X I input already there. It's my first time launching the game because I installed it for this purpose. Delete that crap because it doesn't really read it correctly because um, x 360 c doesn't know what it is. And I'm using the 64-bit. So when I do it without deleting it, it gives me this red box error. So I know that's what's causing the trouble. So uh, just to let you know, I'm doing this raw. So you can see every step by step of what I do. So just close the application if you're having this problem. Delete anything that has XI input. You're going to make your own. And uh, hopefully you have all the files that you didn't delete wrong. Create it like you normally would. I'm using my quad stick because I am handicapped, so it's fine. Just make sure all the buttons work. If uh, your triggers are getting stuck, just go to advance and put pass through. Only if your buttons are getting stuck. Uh, but most importantly, go to game settings. I'm using the 64 bit, so I highlight that. Put everything on the right side. Apply and synchronize. Because this is a 64 bit file. And it makes these files right here. You can see them. Now going back, you did teach me something because I didn't know about the X360 CE. I was always confused about this section and maybe it has something to do with why it's not working right. Maybe you have to click the right application since there's three applications. There's like what? Fortnite, uh, Fortnite client, Fortnite client Windows BE, and Fortnite servers, whatever it is. I just clicked the regular Fortnite launcher EXE. I made a save of it. Because I wanted to open specifically that. Because that's what it is, the game. Um, I guess it loaded it, but... I mean, it saved it, but I want to load it. So I just click it, load it, boom. I can't really tell for sure if it's loading it. So I just made sure by doing it twice. I know it's going to be like a five minute video, but hey. You know, if it gets you gaming, who cares? I saved it again just in case. I went back, everything's working, so I just save and exit. And just launch the game, to be honest. But there is one setting in Fortnite that I'm not sure if it's like random. But I'll show you like right now. I'll just skip all the loading scenes because uh, I don't want to make it longer than it needs to be. Um. Since I'm using, since I'm handicapped, I'm using a random profile, so I don't know my buttons yet. So I'm just clicking random shit to make sure it's working. But if you go to the accessibility, it says ignore gamepad inputs. Make sure it's off. Well, it should be off. If it's on, it's going to ignore the controller. But if it's off, it'll work. Supposedly. Um, there is one thing when you first load into every game you, I think you have to move the left analog stick first to get the motion going and then I'll let you use the camera It's a little weird. I don't know why but left analog stick first then you'll be fine So you have to move and then it lets me use the camera I'm not gonna play. I'm just gonna land somewhere random to see if I can even shoot a shotgun I say I can't. I don't play Fortnite, and I don't know. I just can't get into it. So I just installed it for just for you. You're welcome. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> oh, I'll delete it as soon as I'm done with this video. But I'm glad it works, as I I couldn't get it to work for like a year. Or close to it. Oh, what's the button? There it is. Lip. And the inventory works. You can move up and down. Change weapons. Hopefully, if I can find it. I mean, it, it, I mean, it looks like it works. So, happy gaming. I'm really not going to invest too much time in it, but it should work. Considering I got it on my first try. 
Alright, man. If you have any questions, just hit me up again. Peace.